Well, tonight we're learning more details about a violent crime spree in Hyattsville, Maryland. Police say it started with a carjacking and ended with 14 gunshots. According to investigators, the teenage suspect shot two people and took a bullet himself before police arrested him. And tonight, police are praising the heroic actions of two alert citizens for preventing even more people from getting hurt. News 4's Walter Morris has the exclusive details. A gun on the ground and evidence markers showing several bullets left behind after a violent crime spree comes to an end here in Hyattsville. Three people taken to the hospital and Monday, police crediting two heroic citizens from stopping the suspect from hurting anyone else. They absolutely acted bravely and we are very grateful to their efforts. It all went down last Saturday, June 3rd, when investigators say the 17-year-old suspect crashed a stolen car on Hamilton Street. According to cops, the team then tried to steal another car nearby at Driscoll Park, shooting that victim during the attempted carjacking before taking off on foot, eventually making it here to 36th Avenue and Farragut Street. They were just minding their own business and they're driving their vehicle. Cops say that's when the suspect ran into two innocent bystanders turned good Samaritans. They saw a gentleman coming down the side of the sidewalk who uh, told him that he was injured and he needed a ride. Um, they were thinking he was a man of his word and he was not. Cops say the 17 year old pulled out a gun and a struggle ensued. Over a dozen rounds fired. One of those men shot and the teen suspect also taking a bullet, but both men managing to hold the teen in place until police arrived. This was a very violent person that had approached them and they were left with few options. I'm going to do something if someone pulls out a gun, one of the men telling News 4. His friend of over 20 years shot and now out of the hospital. That 17 year old now facing a long list of charges, including attempted murder and police say it could have been much worse. One of the bullets went through a residence nearby and into, the, into a bedroom where uh, children usually occupy. In Hyattsville, Walter Morris, News 4.